All right, so I'm gonna play this all the way through, then I'm gonna give you my analysis. So check it out. All right, now if you're just if you're just in the midst of playing this game, and you're not replaying it, and you're not really meticulously going through everything. Nothing right here really seems all that alarming. Nothing really seems all that alarming. It's not really to be all that thrown off by until you actually start to dissect it and go through it, right? That is why I like to play it all the way through at the beginning so that you can see how the average person that's playing this is not going to be able to really tell what's happening, especially in the midst of everything. So... Now, when you look at this this uh, second or third rebound, right? Pay attention to how they can they decide when the ball is going to be tangible and intangible, and who is going to be tangible and intangible for, right? So check this out. Now he gets this offensive rebound, but look at this. My whole damn <laughs> all four of my fingers is inside the ball, right? So I've shown countless examples of. When I'm snatching offensive rebounds, how a computer could could barely really sometimes not even touch it. It's like, you know, they just they just have like this this sort of uh force field around their hand where they even wave it by the ball and it just bounce it just completely knocks it out of my hand, right? Right? But the instances right here where you actually are touching the ball, you don't pop it out of their hand. They you know, they get to keep it and go ahead and do their thing with it, all right? Why is that? Because a certain thing was scripted to happen. What was that thing? They were scripted to score in this possession, all right? Some possessions, you go in, you go into the possession like that, where it's scripted for the computer to score. It may be scripted for you to get a turnover. It may be scripted for you to not score. When it's scripted for them to score, they could miss three or four times in a row, and they're going to get the rebound regardless of what's going on in the paint or who's down there. All right, I've seen six-foot-one point guards snatch boards over seven-foot-two dominant rebounders. All right, so, you know, he gets the layup. Now, this is coming off of a third quarter where towards the end of the quarter, we went on a scoring rampage. We went on a run, and the end of that run culminated in – uh, me using a fast break with Stephen Curry three times in a row, scoring on the last bucket he scored, it was a N1, all right? And immediately after that happened, even though I was on fire, immediately after he got that bucket, they take me out of the game at a moment where they usually never take me out in the third quarter with about six or seven minutes left. I've never seen it before. But they took me out because we were on fire. Right and and think about this, I come back in the game, towards the with 50 seconds left in the third quarter, nobody on my team has scored anything at all. Curry missed the free throw that he that he got off the the three point play, so it wound up not being a three point play. Uh, everybody's points was at the same spot, including just the entire team, right? But computer had chopped the lead down. To a nine point lead, we were up by 21. All right, so you see how scripted the game is and how it works out in that manner, right? Where if you're on fire, they'll just they'll just arbitrarily just put it out, like nah, you know, because they're trying to do what they're trying to restrict your ability to just outright dominate the computer. They're trying to make the game feel like a challenge, but they're doing it. Uh, they're, they're compromising the integrity of the game by doing so. All right. <laughs> anyway, peace.